Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Teresa Smith. And I'm Doug Curran. We are starting off with breaking news. A toddler fatally stabbed in Lenore City early this morning. And the suspect, his own mother. This happening around 2.30 this morning at the McGee Square Apartments on Kelly Lane. Police revealing their names within the last hour. 38-year-old Melanie Sue Brown allegedly stabbing her son King Brown to death. Six on your side, reporter Kersey Crawford live outside the apartment complex right now. And what have you learned about this tragic story, Kersey? Tiersa, Doug, the Lenore City Police Chief tells me that they strongly believe this was an attempted murder suicide. Police say they got the call from the grandmother uh, this morning after she found King Brown, the grandchild, on the bedroom floor with stab wounds. Uh, they say she went over to the apartment after her daughter, Melanie Brown, called her saying uh, she was out walking the neighborhood. When medics arrived, the grandmother was giving King CPR and the mother, Melanie Brown also had stab wounds, which they say were self-inflicted. Uh, charges have not been filed yet, but police do believe Melanie Brown killed her son. They say they don't know why, but believe it was an attempted murder-suicide. Evidence was very clear as to what happened, and and putting our timeline together with cell phone conversations, 911 calls, and and the very quick response. There was not a there was not a, a large gap of time between. Uh, the cell phone call from the suspect to her mother uh, and then the response from the mother uh, arriving at 225 Kelly Lane and picking her daughter up and going inside the apartment to discover her grandson. Now the police chief says that they know DCS has been called about the mother several times within the last three years, but they don't know what for just yet. He says that they are also looking into how many times or if uh, police dispatch has been called to the apartment and they're still trying to find that information as well. Reporting live in Lenore City, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6 on your side. All right, thank you, Kirsty. Now this is a developing story. We will be following the investigation all day long. Stay with WATE for an update today at four.